This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. I'm going to do uh, charts on the radio. This is one of our listeners' favorite parts of our show. We do this once a month. It's the monthly market update, and I'm going to do it here for February 2019. Um, When we look at the stats this month, we're going to see a a, a continuing trend. Inventory continues to climb. Now, this is single-family homes in our market. Currently, we have 7,795 homes available. That's just single-family homes. I'm not including condos or or townhomes or high-rises. It's just single-family homes. Uh, Currently, in escrow or under contract, we have 3,041. And sold in the last 30 days, we have 1,647. That is an absorption rate of 4.73. That's the biggest number you've ever heard me talk about in the last three years. That means it takes, on average, 4.73 months to sell the homes that are available right now. Now, usually this time of year, the absorption rate does go up. It's, it's, a, it's a seasonal thing. But this is very, very high. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. I'm going to get into some of these other charts first. When we talk about the stack chart, we do this every month. In the stack chart, we're running a little behind last year. It's uh, only the first month recorded. So we only had 1,800 uh, closings last month in January. Now, the second chart shows the months of inventory. This is the absorption rate over time. And you can see how, how much it's climbed just in the last six months. Uh, just six months ago, we had about a month and a half worth of inventory. Right now, we have, uh, according to this chart, 4.2. I'm telling you, it's up to 4.8 right now. Uh, and when you look back in history, go back to like uh, November of 2010 or, 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 or January of 2011, the absorption rate got a slightly over 5. That was about as high as we've ever seen in the last 10 years. We're getting close to that high uh, right now at 4.8. Uh, the next two uh, pie charts uh, we've got show you the closed units by price point. This is the number of homes that sold within various quartiles, uh, under 250,000, 38% of our, our inventory sold was under 250,000, uh, 44% was 250 to four, over 700, 3% of units, okay? But then when we look at the next pie chart, this is by volume, by amount of dollars generated. The under 250 was only 22% of the dollars, but 250 to 400, Remarkably, the same exact percentage, 44% of the units and 44% of the dollars. And then when you look at the 700 plus, this is where it gets interesting. Over 11% of the dollars generated in our market was over 700,000. That makes, that skews the numbers a little bit. Um, And then finally, the last month's closing by sold terms. This is how people bought homes the last month. Now I want to point out that the numbers were low. We only had, uh, I'm just telling you right now, we only had 1,600 closings last month, 1,800 closings last month. That's kind of a small sampling. But half of them were conventional financing. That's a big number. Conventional financing is dominating our market right now in terms of people acquiring properties. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just different. It's just a little bit unique. Only uh, 13% FHA, 11% VA loans. Um, And those are people who are owner-occupants. VA is a great program for any of the veterans. We love doing that. But 50% conventional, 25% cash. This has been Las Vegas Real Estate Now. Thanks for listening. And remember to tune in every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. on 101.5 FM, 720 AM, KDON.